This <clears throat> was the 60s. Things were different then. Uh, the, the newsroom was extremely polarized. We had one full colonel who would c come in in uniform, plus the uh, assistant managing editor, who later became managing editor, was a retired colonel. And then we had the copy boys and the rest of us. And uh, it was pretty much a standoff at all times. Uh, it, it was not a bad copy desk. Along the rim of the copy desk was Frank Herbert, who wrote Dune. Um, Rick Anderson, who still writes for the Weekly. Um, the legendary Daryl Bob Houston, and others. And uh, during breaks, we were uh, when we ran out of reading material, and. Uh, certain other material happened to be available, we would go up on the roof and smoke dope. And uh, our ambition was to get into the globe. <laughs> Inside the globe. Uh, I never made it. I, I can't uh, vouch for my uh, colleagues. But as far as I know, no one ever actually got in there. But. You know, it didn't seem to affect our work. Uh, we'd come back down and, you know, the paper got out on time. Uh, headlines were good. But one day, uh, somebody, I think it was a guy in the art room, the cartoonist, naturally, had brought in some blonde Lebanese hashish. And... Uh, <laughs> We took that up and smoked it and came back down and you know, business as usual and I was given a little short, you know, one or two paragraphs to write a headline on and I'm there, you know, just working and after a while I hear uh, the slot man clearing his throat. Well, it was Daryl Bob Houston, so he had been up there too. But... <laughs> And I, I looked up, and he was kind of grinning at me, and I thought, what's that all about? And then I looked at the clock, and like 20 minutes had passed since I sat down to read those two paragraphs. <laughs>